question. Let's see, how many hours would you cold call or call expireds? Well, um, I'm not going to be so specific to with expireds. I'm going to say in regards to more prospecting. Um, mm -hmm. Again, going back to the schedule, there's three key things that I call our money making activities. Number one is working on your skills. You have to work on your skills. You have to understand this part. It's too many people, um, you know, this is the part where you end up sabotaging yourself. Number two is the amount of prospecting you do. And number three is the lead follow up. The reason I'm answering it from this direction is because those three things needs to be 80 percent of your day. 80%, 80% of your day. If you're putting in a 10 hour day, you need to be doing this for eight hours. I'm not saying prospect for eight hours because you can do skills for about two hours. You can do some lead follow up for about 15, 20, 30 minutes. And then, yes, you do the rest of it with prospecting five and a half, six hours. I mean, what else are you doing? Perfecting your flyer? You know, like this is with what this business consists of. But some of you will actually sit there and send out an email or two, reply via a text or two, make a call or two. And then you're there at the office away from your family for 8, 10, 12 hours a day. You show up at home and your significant other says, hey, how was your day? Oh, my gosh, I worked my ass off. No, you didn't. OK, so you have to pay really close attention to in regards to great question. You have to pay attention to um, how much time are you investing in your money making activities? Mm -hmm. And what I like to say is if you don't have any transactions or anything going on, I mean, what else is there to do? Just be on the phones. That's how it's been for me. And I'm the kind of person that in a way I'm like, if I'm not prospecting or focusing on my money making activities, I feel like I'm wasting time and I'm not being productive. But that's because I have a very high standard of myself. And I, I know that there's other agents that are watching. So I want to have those standards and boundaries for how I perform in my business. So that any agent's like, wow, she's putting in the work. And it's like, yeah, I'm putting in the work because I'm not going to be your average agent. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, my clients, when they see me online or wherever, they know that, you know, Lloyd is a real deal. And I'm sure they say the same thing about you. Yeah. Let, let me add real quick, just a quick little 20 seconds for especially mm -hmm. I know that some of the Canadian clients, when they sit there and they actually watch this and they go, I can't get phone numbers. Or for mm -hmm. the people that are newer and say, yeah, I don't have the subscription to actually get, you know, Vulcan 7 as an example uh, to get those phone numbers. Well, guess how much it actually costs to do this? OK, zero. What am I talking about? Knocking on doors. OK, so go get your butt in the car or, you know, what? just go walk a block over and just go knock on a bunch of doors. You have to have conversations. Yes. And talking about door knocking for all of the ladies that are watching, um, I know that some of you might be like, oh, well, it's dangerous. Obviously, you you have to be knowledgeable and know exactly where to go and where not to go and what's safe and not. But just in general, more doors will open for you versus if a guy is knocking. Uh, that's been my experience. Um, I'm pretty sure maybe you've seen it too, Robert, if you go with a lady. Uh, and at the end of the day, you know, we come off as being less threatening. Uh, Robert, I'm not sure how tall you are. Maybe you're like over six feet and I'm over here like five, six, five, seven. So if someone opens the door, they'd be like, oh, she's a sweet girl. But yeah. you there, I'll be like, oh, who is this guy? What does he want? So that's just a tip for the ladies. Yeah. You, you gotta and, and do it. Yeah, and then just to add to that, um, yeah, and that's that's a hundred percent accurate. Is if if you are a female, then get a door knocking buddy. Or mm -hmm. if you do end up having the courage to go on your own, make sure that it is a safer community. And then when you go and knock on the door, don't sit there and knock on the door and stand one feet from the door. Knock on the doors, take five, you know, six, seven, eight steps back. Give yourself plenty of distance. Okay, make sure you take some safety, um, you know, uh, items with you. Um, so, and it's not, how can I put it? It's, it's easier said than, than done when it's coming from a guy's perspective than from a female's perspective, but just be smart about it. Okay, but, but get a door knocking buddy. I would encourage you. It's always more fun anyways, doing it with somebody else than doing it on your own. Yes, exactly. And for all of you ladies that want to do door knocking, make sure to join my women's group, Empowered Women on Facebook. The link is also in the description. There's already ladies that have been connecting through the group that go door knocking together. So this is a great way to meet other agents. That way you're not doing this by yourself.